trying my best because I just wanted to uh, talk about this, show this properly. Um, this is only just going to be a quick TF2 talk because some people don't uh, aren't fully aware of what to do next. But after this, we'll do some giveaways, so don't worry, chat. We'll sort this out first, then we'll do that. Gentlemen, how are we doing? So, as we have seen, uh, I can do builders again on this account. Very, very nice. That uh, problem I had... I just needed to reset my router, so that's all good. We've got eight more unusuals to keep an eye out for. Um, when they come out, they come out. Um, it's been a bit awkward because, well, the uh, newest effects didn't have a god tier effect, unfortunately. So not everybody's racing to unbox cases. People are, but not as much as you'd want to. So we do have to look forward to Christmas. But anyway, a lot of people assumed, well, huh, hang on a minute. Is there nothing else to buy order now? Well... Please don't forget, keeping an eye out for all the war paint skins, or rather the war paint uh, weapons, decorated weapons, you name it. So, yeah, people are actually uh, unboxing, getting all the new war paints, and they are turning them into weapons, which means new entities to put builders down for. So one quick brief thing I wanted to talk about was I wanted to, to quickly show off that I actually was successful in buying some war paints and sending them for a decent profit. So if I just go to page four here, right, I managed to buy one of these for £1.30 or $1.50 to you. And then I managed to sell it for, uh, where is it, where did I sell it? What page are we? Oh, don't screw up now. <laughs> I managed to sell it. Where is it? I managed to sell one for $6, and I can't seem to find it. I, yeah, I, I, I definitely had it, and now I've lost it, and now it's all gone wrong. But just know, I bought one for $1.50, and then I sold it for $6. I can't believe I've lost the spot where I literally just had it right in front of me, showing that I sold one for uh, 6 to $7. Oh, no, there it is. All right, so, yep, on the night, I bought one for $1.50, sold it for $6 right there. $6 to $7. Yep, I bought it here. So this proves to work. It does prove to work. We have some fairly decent war paints. Very nice. People are turning them into weapons. Very nice. But uh, what, what do you mean, Hedge? What do you mean by biodering weapons? Well, you have to search or generalize searching for all, each of these individual war paints. So as you can see, I've got a generalized search for the unusuals. Um, again, all of these unusuals at, at the bare minimum will sell for at least $30 because people care more about the unusual effect on the weapon rather than the actual paint. But then again, some of the paints do, do look very nice, of course. So, yeah, you people wouldn't mind buying a well-worn or a battle-scarred unusual because it's still an unusual. But obviously, factory new ones are going to stand out and cost a fair bit more. So they do get bought, they do get used... And as you can see, I've done a whole batch of buy orders here. I've done £2 in every single one of them just in case. And in another account, I did a much decent price if I was one of the first people to put down a buy order. So I've just put these down just in case because I have been successful in buying these for very, very cheap before. Now, what I wanted to properly focus was talking about how if you search specifically uh, or generally, you, know, you get what I mean, I've searched for Sunriser. So now I see all of the Sunriser uh, war paints, but also what people have turned their war paints into. So I've got Minimum Wear, Sunriser, Degreaser and whatnot, Sniper Rifle here as well. But, you know, are there any uh, strange ones? I've got a Factory New Sunriser, which I've already done a buy order for. There you go. Now, what price would you offer? Just keep an eye on what the what the war paints are being for are being bought for. So, what? Um, sorry about this. This is broken. Uh, TF2 on Steam is still broken for some reason. I don't fully know what's going on, but anyway, stick with the point. If the Sunrise or war paint, uh, the lowest price right now seems to be around two dollars, and the highest buy order seems to be one dollar ten. So I would be reasonable to believe I could probably do a higher buy order here, maybe go up to about 80 cents, maybe even a dollar. Because if the war paint's selling for more than a dollar, surely the weapons would be fairly similar. Well, no, because the war paint's more valuable because it can be turned into anything. But when it's a weapon, it tends to be a bit less valuable. But of course, weapons which are mainly used by certain classes, so for example, the rocket launcher is used by soldier, which is still very popular. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean by still very popular? Soldier is one of the most popular classes. And of course, the rocket launcher is always being used, so it has good value. But if you're going to have something like a holy mackerel, nobody's going to really be using it that much. Do you get what I mean? So yeah, keep that in mind. Um, 
Sunrise and War Paint doing fairly well, but let's look at all the other things. So Hypergon, quick refresh. Can you see how we have strange weapons there? We had some re uh, perfectly normal, uh, unique ones. So, yep, I think I've done a Biodra in this. I might not have, I'm not sure. Let's just quickly find out. So I haven't actually done a Biodra in this. I could do. In fact, I will. Let's go take a look. So if this is worth or selling for around, what, $12? Why don't I actually go and see what the well-worn strange war paint selling for? So it's right there. And I do believe that war paint selling between $1 and $1.50. Uh, highest buy order in it so far is currently uh, 60 cents. I reckon I could probably just do 60 cents on it. So let's go over to here. I'll do the equivalent of 60 cents. Maybe I'll just do like 50 pennies my currency. And I'll just put one border down. One boy order. <laughs> buy order. So now that's there. And I can move on to the next thing. That doesn't cost that much money, does it? I have picked up loads and loads and loads and loads of random war paint weapons in the past and just quickly flipped them and made a decent profit. Oh, look, a Hypergon Iron Bomber. Very nice. And I've already done a bio order in it. There you go. So you see, I'm constantly looking for all of these. So I've got Hypergon. I've got Creamed Corn. Do we see any factory news? No. Uh, creamed Corn does look fairly nice. But, um, you know, it's a bit... It is blue and it's it's a bit plain. Um, I know Trackma really likes it, my thumbnail creator. <laughs> but, you know, different strokes for different blokes. Quick refresh. Take a look. What do we have? What do we have? Come on. We got some uh, fairly decent output, but we, got, uh, we did have a factory new uh, Sticky Bomb launcher. So Sticky Bomb, always being used. That's got some decent value to it. So that's probably going to be worth more than the likes of a Holy Mackerel. Um, I did do a bio during this unusual Hell Flame um, health and health flame flamethrower. I'm the only one that has a bioder in it. So if it happens to randomly sell for a very cheap price, I'll buy it. And two pound to me isn't that much. In the grand scheme of things, it's not that much. So just you know, throw a bone and you might be lucky. Think of it. Think of it like fishing. If you don't throw, cast out the reel, you're not going to succeed. But you might succeed. So it doesn't hurt to just try. Look, I've got a uh, uh, oh strange health and hell green loose cannon field tested. Uh, oh, I've already done a bio order in it. There you go. And I have the house bio order. And I think I might have been one of the first people to put a bio order down. So do you get what I mean? It all look factory new. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got an iron bomber here as well. Battle scarred. Uh, oh, already done a bio order. <laughs> and uh, oh, already done a bio order. So yeah, guys, I am constantly looking at this, and I will buy them. I will buy something eventually. It will happen. And then I'll just instantly flip it for a much better price. So if you've got a decent batch of money still and you weren't very successful in getting buy orders on the new hats, the new cosmetics, the new unusuals and whatnot, here's something else to keep an eye out for. Um, yeah, I've already done a buy order on that. So some of these things aren't exactly getting tons of new weapons at the moment, but eventually we'll... Oh my god, someone turned their... Someone turned their unusual chilly autumn war paint into a holy mackerel. What are you doing? <laughs> Why? I might do a buy order on it. Why? <laughs> that would have been worth like, I don't know, $200 maybe? Now it's worth a lot less. Why on earth would you do that? I mean, you've got one right here. Oh my god. And I've got a bio order in it. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it's probably worth a whole lot more when it's like that, when it is like that. So why would you turn it into a holy mackerel? <laughs> okay, so uh, Ghoul Blaster, looking very nice. It is pink, so it's a lot less likely for it to appear. Uh, no, we've got the rocket launchers there, but I've already biled on them. Uh, do we have anything else that might appear? Do show yourself. Come on, come on, come on. Um, all right, so it's still slow, as I said. We still have some problems with the Steam market. So, yeah, you got a uh, well-worn there. Unusual. Do I have a biled on it? I do, I do. I'm fast, chap. I'm very fast. Bonzo Nord, do we have anything else that's appeared? Uh, not to my knowledge, if I just quickly see. And uh, I also wanted to point out, we do now have the strange factory new war paints for the pinks. Or actually one of the pinks, this one's still yet to appear. And we do have it for the red. And that's selling for... Oh my, what's that buy order right there? Uh, that is $120. And most recently we just saw one of them sell for about $600. Yeah, there's... Uh... Yeah, <laughs> and this guy's buying all of them. What are you doing, you madman? So, uh, yeah, Sacred Slayer, do we see any weapons for you? Uh, oh, no, uh, let's just go back because it's looking for page two. 
Come on, you can do it. Yeah, but there's nothing there. So, chat, YouTube, keep an eye out. There are some things to pick up still. Whether it's unusual, strange, or regular, just reflect from what you see the prices are with the war paints. Make a decision, then put down an offer. Sound good? Here we go. So...